Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are planning an incredible trip to Africa in order to fulfill his mother, Princess Diana's legacy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will travel to Angola this autumn as part of their Africa tour and will work with a charity close to his mother's heart. According to the Daily Mirror, Harry will travel to the country where his mother famously visited in January 1997 the Halo Trust. Moreover, Palisades are also exploring the possibility of Meghan and their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor traveling with Harry to Angola. Harry and Meghan will travel with Archie for at least part of the tour to Africa where they are also expected to go to Malawi to help his charity, Scentball. The Duke wants to fulfill some of his late mother's work and is keen to spend a prolonged period of time in Africa after traveling to Kuando Kubongo region in Angola in 2013. Commenting on Diana's influence on her youngest son, a source told The Mirror, this is all about wanting to fulfill his mother's legacy and showing his wife and baby son the places that have had the most positive effect on him in his life. Harry has made no secret of what an influence his mother has been on him. His trip to Africa comes at a time in his life where he has become a parent himself. Diana had a great affinity with children and recognized the worth of having boots on the ground could affect change in such an important way. A major project is currently underway which would see Harry and Meghan go on a foreign sabbatical where they would focus on issues around conservation, the environment and education. The sabbatical could see the pair spend up to six months at a time living in Africa over the next two to three years. Speaking on International Mine Awareness Day in 2017, Harry had spoken of his mother's work on banning landmines in the last months of her life. Harry added, some believed she had stepped over the line into the arena of political campaigning, but for her this wasn't about politics. It was about people. She knew she had a big spotlight to shine, and she used it to bring attention on the people that others had forgotten, ignored or were too afraid to support. Moreover, in tribute to her grandson, the Queen appointed Harry as a Commonwealth Youth Ambassador last year in a sign of his importance in the Queen's legacy.